Another term that test engineers face is test standards. What are the test standards and can they be adjusted and the like? And when you're running a particular test, it may need to pass a particular test standard. In the Vibration View software, under the Navigator tab, we have preloaded some test standards. Probably familiar to many is the mill standard tests and whether it be 810G or 810H and I just opened up one of these. Here is a test standard and in a previous video we talked about test profiles and here we have a breakpoint table and from 10 Hertz to 45 Hertz we're going to have this increase starting at 10 Hertz at 0.89 G's onto 45 Hertz at 40 G's and then leveling off all the way out to 2000 Hertz. Some product, some item must undergo a test that meets these standards. That would be a particular mill standard test but there's all sorts of test standards. We might look under these ISTA tests. You'll notice there are certain random tests. Again, a breakpoint table with all sorts of variety to it. A certain particular increase in G squareds per hertz for two hertz to four hertz and so forth. And there are of course, many others and them also in different kinds of test types. So here is an ISTA um, sign test and a low frequency starting at 1 hertz to 10 hertz. This particular test needs a peak to peak of 1 inch. The particular shaker I have here can't do that. so. Um, if I were to change that amplitude to 0.4 and ending amplitude at 0.4, um, I could run that test. But I obviously need a different shaker because the test standard is one inch peak to peak across that one to 10 hertz frequency range. So test standards are specified by industry as to particular frequency range and a particular uh, vibration level, whether it be in G's or whether it be in uh, inch peak to peak displacement, those kinds of standards. And you can of course enter your own particular values here as necessary if you have a set of standards that are not found in our navigator tab. And we have some, but obviously not all of them, so you may need to add your own particular values. So you could add more stages or more steps or what have you to your particular test standard.